The majority of equestrian creators that I know have struggled with burnout, and it's something that's affected me a lot recently. It's been really difficult for me to stay consistent posting on Instagram, and I want to do something about it. I've been having problems recently with my posts not doing necessarily as well as I would like them to, and I also haven't found the style of posts that I like. Right now, I'm just posting kind of random content based on the inspiration that I get for creating, but I wanna have a style of posts that's mine, that you could see and you would know was mine even if I wasn't in the video. The solution that I've come up with for all of those problems is to push out a ton of content and see kind of what sticks, what I like, what my audience likes, and the style of content that's the most fun for me to create. And so every day this week, I will be posting 15 reels on Instagram, which is a lot. <laughs> and depending on the video, I may film most of this on my iPhone because this is just so much easier to use than this thing. So we'll see what I end up doing. So the first thing that I'm working on is just writing out some ideas. I'm gonna post 15 videos a day, like I said, for five days all throughout the week. And if you do that math, that's 75 videos this week, which is a lot. So to make that a little easier, I'm gonna create formats to follow just so that I don't have to come up with something new every time I make a video. For example, I have a lot of posts talking about stress and burnouts and creativity and consistency so I can take all of those posts just from my feed that have you know text underneath the pictures and I can take that text and I can voice it in a video so I don't have to come up with new content I can just reformat it and explain myself further. Another idea that I'm gonna use is guessing games. Show a picture of different horse breeds and horse tack and famous horses and see if people can guess their names before I say it. So for each of those two formats, I'm gonna make five posts a day. So that's 10 posts a day already covered. So I only have to come up with five more posts per day. I just finished filming, I got like, I've done and that took me an hour. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> All right, I'm almost through 10. This is the setup. We got my phone and a mirror behind it so that I can see what I'm doing with a mic just connected to my phone. And I don't know if you can tell, but my Instagram is pulled up right there so that I can just literally read the text from the posts. Um, yeah. I changed almost, I'm on my last one in this outfit and then I'm gonna change again and keep going. People often say you are the sum of your five closest friends or show me your friends and I'll show you your future. I have found these sayings to be incredibly true. I took a break because um, my phone was about to die and it's dinner time. I've been working on this for two and a half hours and I have 16 out of 25 done, and there's 75 total, so woohoo! <laughs> I've just finished, it's the next day, I've finished 51 of the videos, 51 of 75. This is a lot of work, I'll show you my, um, my drafts. These are all of the posts that I have ready to post. It is Monday, day one. I have successfully posted 15 reels today and I have 50 lined up for the rest of this week. So almost done with creating the content and then I just have to schedule it throughout the week and then keep up with posting and stuff like that. Also, the point of me doing this wasn't to, you know, get a ton of engagement or likes, even though that's, you know, awesome to have people finding my profile from my content. The point was to just kick my butt into gear on creating content and really see what I'm capable of. So the point is not for it to do really well. The point is just to have the discipline to be able to create this much content and get it out in a week. So day one is successful. We'll see if I can keep it up because this is really hard. It's midday Tuesday, day two. It's about 1 p.m. And I've been banned on Instagram. <laughs> I had a post that wouldn't post, it wouldn't schedule. And so it's just been trying to schedule all day. And I guess Instagram thought that that was me trying to schedule it all day. So. I'm a little nervous about that. I can't post right now, and my last three videos that I've posted 
have gotten zero views. So it looks like I've been banned and I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna see this afternoon if it will let me post. And if not, then I will just post my remaining six for today, tomorrow. Today was a lot easier than I thought until this last little hiccup that I got banned. But today was actually going really well before that. The content was really easy to make. I actually was enjoying it. And if today could go like today, except for me getting banned, I would do this every week. Probably because I didn't have to film more than like three reels today, because filming 15 is a lot. And I should give myself a little more grace than the days that I was feeling overwhelmed. I made like 25. So we'll see how the rest of this week goes. Hopefully I get unbanned by the end of today so I can complete today. But if not, also I'll just post 21 tomorrow. Get some more, some more light in here. There we go. <laughs> so it has been a week of me posting 15, 15 reels a day on Instagram. I don't know how to describe the results. Maybe I just haven't done this for long enough. Maybe I need to continue this experiment. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at that and walk y'all through sort of the engagement that I've been getting on my posts and we'll see. Alrighty, pulling open my Instagram and starting just a screen recording so that I can see what I'm doing. I have posted 75 reels in the past five days. So my reels in the past seven days have reached about 20,000 accounts. And you can see just how big of a difference there is between how many people my reels reach versus my posts. So I have a 300% increase in accounts reached. 1,500 people have engaged with my reels. That's 37% increase. And then something I wanna talk about is followers. So I have gained four and I have a 0% increase this week compared to the weeks before. Usually that percent is around 10%. So I will say, I think that's probably due to people being annoyed that I'm posting as much as I am, which they wouldn't be if the content was up to their standards. But I will say that's a big thing, a big concern that I had with doing this, that people would get annoyed with how much I was posting. And it's true. So, um, <laughs> okay, so we can go through on this page and look at the reach that my reels have had. So the best one got 12,000 views and the worst one got two. The best one for interactions, so the best one that people interacted with is this one um, where I'm making fun of equestrians needing chiropractors. Something that I really wanted to learn from this experiment was what kind of content I like and what content I'm gonna continue making for my account. So I would say that 15 reels a day is very doable. I may scale back on that just so that I can increase the quality of the content. But once I got in the hang of it and once I had the content made, it was very easy to post and keep up with of this content that did well what I want to continue making. So I really enjoyed, there were some of the quiz format that did quite well well and I think those were the ones where people were learning something. So it's fun and educational and maybe you're not learning something but you're remembering something you've learned before. And then in general I would say the type of content that did the best was me being relatable. So I showed that you know, the best reel off of interactions was me, you know, saying I'm 20 and I need a chiropractor because my back hurts because I decided to be an equestrian. Basically, that's the gist of the video. And that was the one that did the best. So relatable content like that, where it's like nobody tells you this when you decide to be an equestrian, but you're going to be broke. You're going to be in pain. You're going to be covered in mud in, you know, a couple weeks. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're gonna be pulling shoes out of the pasture that your horse has thrown and it's gonna be a mess, but it's worth it. And so I think content like that is also something that people really relate to and they enjoy. So I think that's also kind of the content that I'll continue to produce. So all in all, I would say that this week was definitely worth it. I would say I probably put 12 to 15 hours into creating content and producing it. And I reached 300% more accounts than I have in previous weeks. I think I am going to continue this experiment, continue posting a lot on Reels and just monitor the response and continue changing what I create to be things that I enjoy and also that my audience enjoys. This whole experience was very educational for me. I would definitely encourage you to do it if you're an equestrian content creator. Just put a ton of content out and see what your audience responds to and learn from everything that you post. See what you like, what you enjoy creating, but also if you're struggling having you know, the discipline to continue posting regularly, it may help to just show yourself what you're capable of, that if you try, you can almost put out 100 pieces of content every week and then scale it back to something that's more manageable for you. Or maybe it's easy and you go more from there. I think I would be very disappointed if I was just doing this to try to gain followers. Like I said, I had a 0% increase in followers. Usually my account is like 10% increase. The point was to stretch me and improve my content creating not to gain followers not any of that and it's nice that that happens sometimes but it didn't happen this time and like I said it would be very discouraging if that was the point but it wasn't. If you're putting out 75 pieces of content not all of them are gonna be your best work not all of them are gonna be what you usually would put out and some of those videos are gonna do really really well and some of them are gonna be really fun to film and some of them are not gonna be fun and some of them are not gonna do well at all and you can learn from all of that information and decide what you want to continue putting your time towards. So in conclusion I would say this week was definitely a success in a way that I was not entirely expecting and I will be continuing it in the future. I'm going on vacation next week so I probably won't post that much but as soon as I get back I will dive right back into creating a ton of reels and seeing what sticks. So if you want to hear more about how this is going and have a follow-up to this video with more things that I'm learning as I create, you can let me know by leaving a like or a comment below. Thanks for watching this week's video. I will be back next week with another one. I love you like